everybody and welcome to our Rocky Mountain Sew and Tell in uh, June. We are pretty excited to be here with you. We've got some great projects to show you, um, some inspirational stuff, some fun stuff for summer, um, and we are just so glad to be here with all of you. Hopefully we'll be back in the store soon, but until then, we're just gonna keep doing it this way. We're just really excited to see everybody in the store again soon. So our first disc this month is from OSD and it is called Chain Stitch Insects. It has been, you know, every month we have one that's more popular than others and this was probably our most popular because we had several people who chose the same design. Uh, so we have just some fun things to show you. Our first is Great Minds Think Alike we decided that that would be really cute on a baby um, onesie. And we have the Kimberbell onesies here for you. And what I love about these, and we've talked about them, but on this month, I actually left it unsewn. So when you buy these onesies, they come with the side seam unsewn. And what is great about that is when you're sewing something small like this, it's very difficult to get it in the hoop and all of it under the machine. So because the one seam is not sewn, it makes it much easier to get into, into the small area to do the stitching. So this is the snail. This is the full size of the snail. He just really turned out cute. This is a Kimberbell onesie in nine to 12 months. They do come in both gray and pink. Um, they have two onesies in the package. There's a striped one, and then there's also the polka dot one, and they come in three sizes. So they have um, three to six months, six to nine months, and then nine to 12 months. So they are an exceptional item for doing embroidery. So we did the snail on the nine to 12 month. Megan, um, who has a baby on the way in a few months, uh, baby McCabe will be here and she made this adorable outfit. So she stitched um, on the onesie as well. She brought the design into her software and reduced the size of it. So hers is much smaller than what we did. She added the lettering and then she also stitched it on the pocket of the pants. This um, spotted fabric they have in the Aurora store. And then just what an adorable outfit. Um, it will be great probably for next summer since it's nine to 12 months. Um, it will be perfect for the summer for baby McCabe who's on the way. Um, Terry also stitched out this design. She made a really cute table runner. So she has the bugs on each end with one in the middle. She also incorporated another disc we're gonna talk about. Um, it's also by OSD, it's a fill design and it will you can create blocks with a quilted fill on it that you can use in a variety of ways and she just had this fun springtime fabric that matched the design so terry made the runner and then emily in our littleton store also used this design so she stitched um, the design on a scarf she found this scarf believe it or not at the dollar store so she stitched out the bugs on the scarf. So she stitched the first one. She showed me how cute it was and I said, well, that's great, except that it's a dead bug because it's upside down on the scarf. If you wear it, it would go upside down. So she did both of them dead. And I said, well, Emily, you have to know that really bugs me. And she says, oh, you can tell them I sewed it upside down if you say to them, you told me it bugs you since they're bugs on the scarf. But what a cute way to use this design. She um, just used water soluble stabilizer on the back, two layers of it, stabilize it perfectly, stitched out great on the scarf. So this is OESD's um, Chain Stitch Critters. Our next disc is also from OESD, it's called Fill it up quilting. 
And this is a great disc. It has 79 designs on it. So it's, it's a disc that is gonna give you filler blocks. So there are rectangle shapes and border shapes and square shapes. So you can stitch out a block with the quilting on it that you can insert into a quilt or you could use it for quilting on a quilt that you're working on. So Terry used it in her table runner. I don't know if you can see this, but on this block and this block, um, she actually used fillet up quilting, created a block that was quilted, which she then inserted into the table runner. So that's a great way to use it. Emily was a little more creative with her design. Um, she's a video, um, she's a video game fanatic. And there's a game called Zelda, and in Zelda is this creature. She called it a wood spite, I think, I can't remember now, but it's made out of wood. So what she did, she's been looking for a long time um, for a design that looks like wood so she could create this. So she stitched out two blocks with the wood design. She traced her pattern onto the blocks that she stitched out and then sewed it into her little stuffy um, animal. And then she took the, it has this mask, she took the design, she put it on the luminaire, she scanned it and then created the face using the luminaire. So this is not something I would make, but she was pretty excited and Sean, our videographer, as soon as he saw it said, oh, Emily made that. I know that because she likes Zelda. So what a creative way though to use the design and it's just a fun um, thing. Kids would like it, adults like it. It's just a fun little thing. So that is, um, Fill It Up Quilting by OESD. Our next project is also OESD. Uh, it is a really fun alphabet. It's called Penned Alphabet. It comes in an uppercase and a lowercase. And uh, the gals in the Littleton store were trying to find something fun to do with the lettering. And they found this quote. It says, fine, we'll compromise. I'll get my way and you'll find a way to be okay with that. And it is so cute. So they, um, Emily did take this lettering into the software and reduce the size. So this is smaller than the size of the software. Um, just so you could see, we did stitch out RMSV. This is the actual size of the lettering. So this is about one inch bigger than what she stitched out, but with the smaller size, it did make it easier to get it onto the pillow. So this is a great um, uh, alphabet that you could use for a variety of things. They have on the disc um, just picture frames with faith, hope, and love in it. Uh, there's just a lot of different ways you could use this lettering. If you have software, a lot of the software programs have something called mapping. Um, and what that means is you can, if you're using the lettering off of the disc, you have to bring each letter in as an individual um, embroidery design. On software, if you have software and you can do mapping, you can bring the alphabet in that creates it as a font built into the software. And then all you have to do is type the words you want and it automatically puts them in as you want them. So that is a really great thing that you can do with software. You could do that with this lettering disc. It's just a fun, um, there's really a variety of things that you could do with it. So that's Penned Alphabet by OESD. We do have all of the discs available in our stores. If you're not able to get to the store to purchase the disc, um, you can always order online, we can send it to you, or if you need a little bit more instant gratification, you can go to our website. On our website, there's a tab that says shop online. If you click on that tab, that brings down a drop down menu, um, scroll down to embroidery designs, click on embroidery designs, 
it takes you to um, the OESD website. You, there's a link there. You click on the link and that will take you to your, the website that you could order the designs online if that was something that you were looking to do. So you can either get the designs in the store or you can get them from our website. Our last design disc from OESD is called Summer Glory by Donna Gelsinger. She is an amazing artist. If you have stitched, um, they have some winter Santa tile scenes, uh, Starry Night Santa. Uh, they just came out with another one last year. So this is her summer tile scene. This is only a portion of it. It's a 48 block tile. Uh, Rebecca in our Aurora store has been working madly on it, trying to get it done. Didn't quite have it done in time, but just wanted you to see what she was working on. I know Emily is also working on it, and Rosemary in Arvada is working on it as well. So next month we should have several of them to show you finished. Um, it does have a thread kit available for it, but unfortunately it's going to be on back order for a little bit. Uh, Emily painstakingly found all of the OESD isochord numbers and converted it into Floriani. So if you decide you want to stitch it, we can get you the list of threads that you're going to need. But isn't this a beautiful design? And it's so realistic looking. When you look at this flag, it looks like you're looking at something painted because it, it is just a beautiful um, project. So this is Summer Glory by Donna Gelsinger. Vicki York is going to bring us our next design. She's a designer for Scissor Tail Stitches, and the last few months she has had some great embroidery projects. This one is no exception. It's called I Think You're Neat, and it is a collection of um, drink-based designs. Not big drinkers, don't have a lot of drinkers in our family, but I just fell in love with this design disc. We had just gotten in this key lime grunge. I had to have a way to use it. Um, and then also we got this glitter grunge, so it's white with the sparkles on it. And I just knew that this was the perfect project for the fabric and the design. It says, I love you from my head to and then mojitos at the bottom, which I just think is so clever. Has the cute drink uh, with the limes on there. Just a really fun um, project for the summer. I have a chair in my dining room that I like to switch out um, the pillow on it, so I thought this would be a fun summertime pillow. I did use my favorite flap on the back, cover up the zipper um, pillow pattern with the binding around the edges. And then I also made, um, for my brother. I think this would be a great Father's Day gift. Um, they have one that says, I think you're neat. It has a bottle of whiskey on it with the, I think you're neat. I used one of our nice um, mushroom colored towels. It just worked out perfect. So this is, it's got um, eight designs on it, all different kinds of um, beverages, adult beverages on it. It's just a really clever design disc. It's, I think you're neat. Scissor Tail Stitches by Vicki York. Scissor Tail Stitches brings us our next design disc. I don't know if you remember, but probably um, about a year ago or so, Hannah made this great freestanding um, hot air balloon. She used this purple and green and orange fabric. Um, it really turned out cute. It was super popular at the store. So this month, Scissor Tail Stitches came out with a design disc called Up, Up and Away. So Hannah, being clever, um, took the one of the designs that um, was on the disc and she matched it to the hot air balloon that she stitched out a year or so ago. So this is a Kimberbell bag, which you guys know we love them a lot because they come to you flat. You do the embroidery on it, and then you sew up the side seams. She stitched out the design on the bag and then fully lined it with um, purple fabric with orange pockets to match. She used some of our grunge and Kimberbell fabric. And then on one of the Janome machines, there was a cloud stitch, and she stitched the clouds all the way around the top of the bag. So this is just a super cool project with... Um, 
up, up and away by scissor tail. And then she also stitched out this one. This is a um, towel she found in the dollar department at Target. It was a two pack, it had this and something else. It's just a perfect towel for this design. She kind of put it on there at an angle so it looks like it's floating through the sky. But she stitched out this 4th of July looking Memorial Day kind of um, hot air balloon on this towel. So this will be a fun summertime towel using scissor tail stitches design disc called Up, Up and Away. Our last disc today is also from Scissor Tail Stitches. It's called Garden Flag Greetings. The funny thing is we stitched out samples of this design disc and not a one of them did we stitch on a garden flag, which if you've watched in the past, you know that um, OESD has um, garden flags that are great for embroidery. They come in black and they come in white. Um, it's a package of two, so you can get those at our stores and stitch these designs out on the garden flag as they're intended. Uh, I, I decided I wanted um, a bag that maybe I could use as a lunch bag, and I just loved um, the sentiment in this one. I used um, a Kimberbell tote. It was the cream Kimberbell tote which I like a lot, but they're a little bit narrower than what I want for a tote bag. So Emily did this last month. I decided I would try it myself because we got in this great grunge fabric that I wanted to use. So I used the Kimberbell tote, which is nice because it's flat, and then added a strip down both sides to make it a wider tote with some nice interest of fabric on the edges. So this one is gardening is cheaper than therapy, and you get tomatoes, which homegrown tomatoes are absolutely the best things ever. I stitched the red fabric on the side and then lined it with some fabric that I had at home. And then Emily used some of our grunge, also kind of had a garden feel to it, stitched out gardeners know the best dirt. I, this disc is so great. It's full of just very clever, um, sayings. Uh, there's one that says sometimes, oh, I can't remember what it was, um, sometimes I wet my plants. Instead of sometimes I wet my pants, it says sometimes I wet my plants. And it's just very clever. They'd be great on garden flags. They'd be great as summertime pillows. Um, you could make it into a tote that you could use for a lunch bag or just a variety of different things for summer. But that is Garden Flag Greetings by oh, uh, Scissor Tail Stitches. I just wanted to show you uh, some of the um, accessories that we talked about today. Um, we, I know it's sometimes we run through stuff really fast and it's hard to remember or know what we're talking about. So the first item I wanted to show you is Gentle Touch Backing. It's a product by OESD. And what this is is a very soft Trico um, fabric with iron-on on the back of it. So when you're doing the onesies or anything that's going to be um, embroidered and given to a child, you can take this gentle touch backing, cut a piece of it and iron it onto the back of the design after you've done the embroidery so it keeps that scratchy thread away from the baby's delicate skin. So this is just a good way you add it to the back of the design, makes things nice and soft. Um, I did want to bring and show you the Kimberbell tote bags. We have the um, cream and gray buffalo checked bag, which uh, Hannah used for her uh, hot air balloon tote bag. And then also the um, Kimberbell blanks, the canvas tote, which is the off-white one that I used for the gardening bag. I did add the two pieces of fabric to the side of it just to give it a little bit more width. But these bags are just so great because they come flat. They have finished edges, they come flat. You do your embroidery on them, you sew up the sides, and voila, your tote is done very quickly. Um, this next product is a product from OSD. It is one of my favorite products ever. When you're doing embroidery on a tote bag 
or a piece of cotton fabric or just something that doesn't have a lot of stability on its own. This is a woven cotton fabric with iron on, um, on the back of it. You iron it onto the back of the fabric before you do your embroidery. It gives the fabric good body without adding a lot of bulk and it just really makes it nice. It helps keep your embroidery flat. Everything just looks very nice when you're done with it. This is fusible woven. It comes in a 20 inch width. It also comes in a 15 inch width and it is amazing. Once you start using fusible woven, you will want to use it for everything. And then just so you could see also, we have the Kimberbell baby body suits. They come in the gray and the blush. So um, you can use for boy or girl or mix and match or whatever. It does have the striped version and then the polka dot version. Again, it has the side seam left open so that you can lay the bodysuit flat in the hoop, do the embroidery, and then just sew up the last side and seam. And they come in three sizes. So two colors, three sizes, and they are just wonderful for embroidery. So thanks so much for joining us this month. Um, I just hope you get some inspiration and just want to go home and get some embroidery done. And be sure and join us tomorrow. Lisa is going to have all kinds of fabulous samples and projects to share with you. And make sure you stop by any one of our four stores, our three uh, Denver locations, and then our store in Colorado Springs. Thanks a lot, and I look forward to seeing you next month.